It is recording. I see the red light on. That's good. I have been wanting to do this lesson for about, I don't know, years. What's your name? Oh, my name is Don DePoy. What are you, like the producer or something? <laughs> I'm Don DePoy. This is my banjo, Mordecai. I had that name since I named it in Bush Gardens in 19, it must have been 76. So I played there. So, uh, so what I would like to do is uh, just convey a concept about playing back up and playing down the neck, which seems to elude some people. And the first thing I want to do is approach it as you need to remember three things. Bar, F, D. Bar, F, D. Let's explain what that means using the banjo fingerboard. The bar is when it's open, like right with the nut up here. That's a bar. And then the next time that a G chord, which is what this is open, will appear is in an F position, which is right here. And then the next time it appears is in a D position, right here. So it's bar, F, F meaning the chord shape, but up here is the first time you ever see that chord. Down here is a G, so it's bar, F, D, again a D position because a D is the first time it appears here. And a D chord is really like a C chord removed, moved back two half steps. So this is a C chord everybody plays on the banjo. So it's a D down two, makes it a C. If you go the other way, it's D. This is the stuff you probably should already know. D down to E, half step F, two whole, whole step G, whole step A, whole step B, half step C, which is the same as the C here. That stuff you should know. So it's bar, F, D. Now let's start with another chord. Let's start with F chord. So if you start with F, the next time you'll see an F chord appear is in a D position, right here. And then the next time you'll see an F again is in a F bar position, right here. Or this G, F sharp, F. So that's that. And then the F again appears here as a bar, as a as an F position. And then again as a D position. And then again, if you can get down here, it'll be another uh, G position. So, what does that all that mean for backup? Well, if you know that, then you can actually look at, if you're playing in a G position, the most important part is where do the other chords lay? Not so much the scales or not so much the chords you're playing, but if you know where G is as the one chord, that's the first chord, and then the five chord would be the D, and it's always right behind here. So it's D chord, and then the, the four, five chord would be right here as a D. So it's one chord, five chord. A lot of songs do one chord, five chord. The other five chord near here is the one that's right here. Because if you do G at the D position here, the seventh fret, then this four chord lays right here as a C. And then if you do down two, it's D. So it's one, four, five, one. Or you can do one, four, five, one. That's G, C, D. And that's important for doing... sense if you're doing a, a progression around the normal bluegrass that is for me it's G C G D G R one four one five one if you're doing it up here in the bar position it's It's the bar chord right here. That's always the four chord if you're playing that as the one chord. Wherever you play that, if you play the C, the one chord, and the F is the four chord right here, then the five chord becomes either here or here. So the key is to learn whatever, whatever the root position is you're using as a one chord, whether it's the bar and then the four chord, five chord, or it's bar, one chord, five chord. So that's that's the key to this whole lesson learning where the chords are around the particular position you're playing in for the root chord that is the one chord or the chord the key the song is in so if it's G like here at the 12th fret it becomes C right here and then the D's right here and then the G or you can do G C D G if you want to work back up the neck so again the, the key to this is learning 
where you actually find the chords near the root position of whatever key the song's in. If it were an A, and I'd have a capo one at that time, it'd be A, D, E, A. A, D, E, A. Or A, D, E, A. So again, if you're in the D position chord, the four chord always just lays right behind it. Two, and then... And then the four chords from this position is always right here. So it's five chords here, one chord's here. So it's, let's start up here. So it's one chord. This is a D position for me. And then the D position. And the next G is here. Then I can do a C here. The D, G, C, D, G, C, D, G. C, D, G, and I run out of space. I'm out of get my banjo neck. So that's that's what this lesson is basically all about. Thank you. If you like this, let me know. DeployD at Hotmail.com. Let's take a little, this is a little next lesson part of this. My, over five minutes yet. Next lesson would be, let's do something like going down the road feeling bad. Now let's talk about the chords of just that little phrase. It's G, like this. And I need that extra note there. This actually is the G of this chord. Then the C is right here. Back to the G. Back to the C. G. Then I need to do the D. Back to the G. And I have a choice of there or here. I like here. Now that little ending is G here, going up to the G here. Probably just G, C, D. So that helps. Hope that helps. Let me know. Thanks.